Over the last several days, I've been investigating the widely reported issue of excessive SSD usage on the M1-based Macs. As part of this, I run a series of tests, comparing the amount of data being written by an M1 MacBook Air to an Intel MacBook while running the same applications. And I was pretty shocked by the results. I found that my M1 MacBook is writing between 8 times and in the worst case nearly 60 times more data to the SSD as my Intel Mac while running the same applications and performing the same workload. Both Macs have 8GB of RAM, they're both running macOS Big Sur 11.2.3 and they're running the most recent versions of all the applications. I took a note of the data written value in Activity Monitor before and after each test to determine how much was being written to the internal drive. For the first test, I edited three 26 megapixel RAW photos taken on a Fujifilm X-T30 in Adobe Lightroom Classic. This is only available as an Intel binary, so while it was running natively on the Intel Mac, on the M1 Mac it was running under Rosetta 2. On the M1 MacBook, editing the three photos resulted in 91.73GB of data being written to the SSD, while the Intel MacBook wrote 1.58GB. This means that the M1 MacBook wrote 58 times more data to the SSD than the Intel Mac to perform the same task. For the second test, I switched to Adobe Lightroom CC. This has already been released as an Apple Silicon native binary, so the M1 Mac was running the native ARM64 version. After editing four photos, the M1 Mac had written 37.55 gigabytes of data to the SSD, while the Intel Mac had written 1.82 gigabytes. While this is a big improvement over Lightroom Classic, the M1 Mac still wrote more than 20 times more data to the SSD than the Intel Mac. Staying with photo editing, for the third test I switched to Apple's own Photos app, and I again edited four 26 megapixel RAW photos on both machines. This time, after the test was finished, the M1 Mac had written 10.27 gigabytes of data, and the Intel Mac had written 1.24 gigabytes. This is much better than the Adobe apps, but still means that the M1 Mac had written 8.2 times more data to the SSD than the Intel Mac to do the same work. For the next test, I switched to video editing and used the most recent version of Final Cut Pro, which at the time of making this video is 10.5.1. I edited and exported a short 2 minute 16 second 4K video with transitions, color grading and a music track. The same video was produced on both Macs, using the same clips with the same transitions and the same effects. After the export had completed, the M1 Mac had written 47.74GB of data to the SSD, while the Intel Mac had written 3.85GB. This means that the M1 Mac wrote 12.4 times more data to the SSD than the Intel Mac. Still in Final Cut Pro, I lowered the resolution and edited and exported a 3 minute 1080p video on both laptops, with transitions, grading and a music track. After exporting this video, the M1 Mac had written 18GB of data to the SSD, while the Intel Mac had written 0.55GB, or 550MB. So this time, the M1 had written 32 times more data than the Intel Mac. Many people have been singling out Google Chrome as a possible culprit for excessive SSD usage on the M1 Macs. So for the next test, I opened the same 10 tabs on both Macs and browsed for 30 minutes with a 1440p YouTube video playing on one of the tabs. After the 30 minutes was up, the M1 MacBook had written 11.84 gigabytes of data to the SSD, and the Intel Mac had written 1.38 gigabytes, a difference of 8.57 times. I also wanted to see how the Chrome results compared to Apple's Safari browser. So for the next test, I opened the same 10 tabs in Apple's browser and played a 1080p YouTube video while browsing for 30 minutes. This time, after half an hour, the M1 MacBook had written 10.29GB of data to the SSD and the Intel MacBook had written 0.82GB. So the M1 had written 12.5 times more data. 
So here's a graph showing the final result across all seven of the tests. As you can see, in every test there is a massive difference between the amount of data written to the SSD by the Intel Mac and the amount written by the M1 Mac. This is despite them both having the same amount of RAM, running the same version of macOS and running the same applications with the same workload. Overall, across all of the tests in total, the M1 Mac had written 227.42 GB, while the Intel Mac had written 11.24 GB. This means that the M1 Mac wrote 20.23 times more data to the SSD to perform the same tasks as the Intel Mac with the same amount of RAM. This figure of 20 times more matches up almost perfectly with the long term figures over the lifetime of both laptops. The SSD in my M1 MacBook Air is about 7 weeks old, and in those 7 weeks 9.59 terabytes of data have been written, which is about 1.37 terabytes a week. My Intel MacBook is exactly 5 years old, and in those 5 years it's written 17.1 terabytes of data, which is about 0.065 terabytes per week. That's about 21 times less data written to the SSD each week, as compared to the M1, which matches up almost perfectly to the results of my tests. I'll be releasing a longer video with a more in-depth look at this issue within the next couple of days. But for now, that's it for this video, thanks for watching.